Hello, Caesar. Oh, hello, Pamela. How are you? I'm pretty good. Have you been watching your yields? <laughs> what? Caesar, have you been watching your yields? What, 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 what are you talking about? Caesar, I have just the tool for you to focus all your yields in one place. Hello and welcome to Caesar's Snack Sandwich. Today we're on the Binance Smart Chain, taking a look at something very special that I really, really like to use, and I use that almost every single day. So let's swing over there and take a look at what it is. This is what it is. It's called Yield Watch Beta. It's a smart DeFi dashboard. And uh, I've just loaded up some random whales wallet in here. Now, one of the common things about these dashboards that I want to state right now is that this dashboard does not hold any of your tokens. It doesn't have any control over anything you do or any of your tokens. It just basically reads the blockchain and displays it in a nice user interface so everything's all organized and it gives you a lot of extra data that is hard to find. So let's take a look at what's inside it right after I talk a little bit about the team. So one of the good things about this is it's impossible to be a rug pull. Right now there is no money at all. There's no coin, there's no token, there's no nothing. But this is stuff that's going to be coming in the future when it goes pro. So let's go to pro first. So pro says coming soon, advanced stats, early access to new projects. So I guess this is like kind of like launch padding things. Wallet integration. So I guess this would be allow you to perform some tasks in the future, like maybe send some or zap into some of these protocols and so forth. And you know, you want to go light mode for some crazy reason, you could do that. And some historical data as well, some more, some more things coming soon. And this will kind of turn it a little bit into more of a funded thing. So right now it's produced by uh, two guys, I think, maybe two. Well, if you go to their telegram here, it's very active. Let's swing over there first and see what's going on there. So here's their telegram. It's quite active. You see you know, Craig here, he's all the time talking to everybody, answering questions, going like crazy. And the other guy is, uh, where is he? Puke McKinnon. So, you know, the head, the head, uh, here, Mitch, Mitch Buchanan. Okay. Mitch Buchanan. So as you see, I came in here, I asked some questions and I started talking to them one-on-one -on -one, and I got some answers from them. So they're very helpful. They're very useful. Now they've been in cryptocurrency for quite some time now and they've decided to build this on the Binance Smart Chain. So they said they've been on the Binance Smart Chain since it pretty much started up and they've decided that this project is needed and they've decided to start it. So they are just running it by themselves, you know, so that's great. You know, it's free to use and they're doing it out of the goodness of their heart. I suppose. I suppose that they've probably got some big wallets themselves as well, but who knows? Okay, so let's swing over here. So the first thing you can do is you can close up all of these if you want. You can open and close. These are the current protocols that they are integrated with. These are all Binance Smart Chain protocols, as you can see. And uh, this wallet here has a lot of money in a whole bunch of them, but not all of them. So you would click and it would open. See, you can see he has nothing in there. He's got nothing in here. But in Cream Finance, he does have a small position of Binance coin. He's got this many Binance coin, a dollar in here. So it shows you the ratio. This is a boring platform, but let's look at Venus instead. So Venus, he has $32,000. He's borrowed $19,000 and he's at a 98% of his, I, I can't remember what the, you'd have to check Venus to find out what the, the uh, collateral ratio is, but maybe he can borrow 80%. So maybe this, he could borrow 80% of this, and he's currently at 98% of his 88%. Now that's pretty dangerous, risky looking stuff, but if you look closely, you can see he's only borrowing stable coins pegged to the US dollar, and he's only supplied stable coins. So I guess 98 is not too risky when they're all pegged to the US dollar, okay? So I guess he's just trying to farm this token maybe and maybe using this vi to you know produce yield as well inside the venus protocol i will make a video soon on venus protocol and show you all the little details of that but this is very useful if you have positions like collateralized debt positions where you've say you've lent some eth and you've borrowed some coins to do something with them 
here you can clearly see that oh you need to take action if it goes into this red in here then you need to take action mine's somewhere down here in the 70s or the 60 to 70 and it's yellow so I, th I find this to be very useful okay but it's not the prime thing so if you go to pancake swap you have lp staking these are these are simple build an lp stake it earn cake okay so it shows you the cake that they're earning and so forth and then down here we have some token stake some cake and you know get emissions of these special tokens now let's go into beefy finance because this guy seems to really like beefy finance okay so he's a big beefy whale okay so here we have single asset volts which which have some pretty simple data to read. They have uh, the total that he has in single asset volts. And then let's look at the moo cake. So he's got this many 1.87K cake in there. And uh, this is the dollar value of that. And this is his APY on the volt. And this is how many cake he's yielded so far since, you know, since he built this, since he put this cake into the volt. And this is how much money this cake is worth. So it's pretty straightforward, single volt, you know, readings. Okay, you can find this on Beefy Finance as well. But I like the way this is all laid out. This is the key thing. These these LP tokens are great. Okay, so the same information here is up here pretty much. But when we click on this little eye, we get a whole bunch of information. Okay, so here we are on the details page of the Beefy uh, BNB LP token placed in the beefy vault. So remember, this token was built in the trap house and was placed in the BNB beefy vault on beefy finance. Okay, so here, let's take a look at this data here. So these are the deposit tokens, the tokens that he put in when the amount of tokens in the LP when he stuck it into the vault. So 63 versus 26. Now a token change, this comes from actual arbitrage trading. So as people are buying and selling the tokens, they no, you, this is pretty much the quantity of tokens that was lost due to impermanent loss. So you don't want these numbers to be very different. They would be great if they were zero, but that's impossible. So, you know, he's lost nine beefy tokens and gained this many WB and B tokens. The reason why these numbers do not match is because the values of these tokens are not equal. Okay, if these were both USDC or USD tokens, perhaps they would be much closer. Okay, perhaps, I'm not sure. So down here we have LP fee earnings. So these are the fees that are generated by people trading this pair of tokens, right? On this LP going to street swap and trading it. So trading these two tokens and it generates this many PP tokens and this many WBMP tokens rewarded to the pool. Now, the vault earnings, this is uh, the beefy vault it takes, you know, farms the drugs on the trap house and sells the drugs and turns them into these tokens and these are the amounts that they've gained and then if you look at the current that's pretty much the sum of all of these numbers so the whole column the sum so as you can see he's up from 63 tokens to 97 tokens and he's down 626 to 21 so he's incurred quite a bit of impermanent loss here but uh maybe he's okay with that and that's life because he's he is up generally speaking okay so that's token quantities okay you can see those over here now let's come over to the impermanent loss calculator the first thing you can do at the top here you can siphon through different kinds of reference points so right now you see it's wbnb so it's pretty much referencing all these numbers based on the price of bnb so relative to the wbnb price this is relative to the beefy price and this is relative to us dollars and they're going to add some other currencies in the future you know like euros and japanese yen and other things in the future okay so let's go back to let's use wbnb just for the sake of this so if we look at the top the current price this is the price feed of the current difference so of these tokens so every beefy is worth 4.6 blah 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 wbnb tokens currently okay this is the average token deposit price so at the time when he deposited these tokens into the into the lp he this was the current price of beefy versus bnb so bnb was worth for every 2.3 you could get one beefy token so beefy has gone up quite a bit in value and bnb has actually tanked a little bit today because of the you know the overall the uh, the overall cryptocurrency 
dump, right? So anyhow, so let's move on. So the price change, so the difference between this and this expressed in a percentage is about 92%. So Beefy has gone up 92% in re reference to WBNB. So that's pretty good if you had just held it. Anyhow, so going over, hodl value. So if you had hodled these two tokens and did not build this LP and did not put it into the right, and you just held the two tokens and let them go up in value, you would currently have a WBNB value of around 184. So to express this again in another way, think of it this way. If you didn't, if you didn't put these tokens into these, this vault and this LP, or into this vault and did these LP tokens, and you just had beefy, and you just held the same amount, these numbers right here, and you just held them and held them and held them, then you would currently have this much if you sold the beefy for BNB and put them together, you'd have this. And the same with if you go to the opposite. If you sold all the WBNB you had here for beefy, you would have this many beefy, okay? Now down here, we have the current value. This is the actual value of the vault holding, okay? So as you can see, he's would have been better off in this case of holding it than putting it into this vault and into this LP token. However, this is impermanent. Remember, it's impermanent loss, so it's not always the case, okay? So let's go over here. This is the impermanent loss, how much W expressed in BNB, right? So he's got 14% impermanent loss. And you see, if you change it, it's still 14.48%. 14 Still 14.48%. So it's just expressed in WBNB how much permanent loss he's got expressed in WBNB. Now remember, the price of BNB has gone down, as you can see, it went down quite drastically recently. And uh, unfortunately, I can't bring up a graph of Beefy, but uh, it's it hasn't gone down so much. So this impermanent loss might get mitigated soon by just leaving it for a little while. So this is one of the things I check. Do I currently have any impermanent loss? When I come in and I'm trying to decide whether or not I should close an LP or not. So the next one here, fee earnings. So this basically is the sum of these expressed in WBNB, okay? Okay, so the, then we have the LP earnings. The LP earnings are basically this number and this number summed up, okay? Since this is a negative number, we have 23 minus 26 and we get minus three, okay? So this is a clear indicator. If this is red, then you probably shouldn't close this LP at this current time unless you absolutely have to, okay? And then the vault earnings is basically this expressed in BNB. And then the result, you know, where are you sitting after all in expressions of WBNB, okay? So let's swing over to something else that hasn't incurred so much impermanent loss. And I found something here. Now it still does have a little bit of impermanent loss, right? But not so bad. If you look here, the LP earnings are a positive number. So he's lost a little bit, but he's gained quite a bit. So he might be able to safely close this down and do what he needs to do with the value locked in here, whatever that might be, okay? So this is kind of what I do when I look in here and if, I'm, if I need to close some positions like I did yesterday because of all that. You know, my ETH basically dumped and I use ETH for collateral on Venus. So I needed to close some of my LPs. So I came in here and I checked this number, I checked this number and you know, I did a couple of looking around and see which one's the best one. But this is probably one of the, these are the probably the two important numbers you want to look at to see whether or not you should close your LPs or not. Okay, so I hope this is helpful and uh, I really enjoy this product. I really think it's a great product and I can't wait until it goes pro and they, the team actually starts to get some you know, finance or financial incentives to keep working. They're working really great and it'd be great if we could support them through the tokens that when they actually come out. Okay, thanks so much for watching and if you want to talk to me, you can join my Telegram. The link is in the description. You can follow me on Twitter or you can find me lurking around in the Discord channels and say hello. And hello, thank you so much for watching and um, if you'd like to support the channel, there are a few ways you can help me out a lot. Number one is I have a Gitcoin grant. This is a pretty unique way to help out. Basically, the way this, this system works is if you supply me with any kind of donation, then the protocol itself will also match your donation with like an increasing amount the more and the more the people donate to me. So for example, if you were to give me one die, the protocol will give me four die, which is great, you know, so your one die can go a long way. So please feel free to come here and check this out. You know, link to this will be in the description. 
Another way you could support me is by going to YGIFT, link in the description. And here, this where this says collect for me, it would say tip. You tip this and uh, you could give me some YUSD if you want. And uh, that would definitely help me out quite a bit. Um, another way you could support me is you could check out my Rarible store and purchase an NFT. Now the best kind of support is just you watching my videos and liking them and subscribing. So if you did that, thanks so much for doing that and uh, goodbye.